Grant, O most lovable Jesus, that your Holy Spirit descend on me and fill me with persevering love. May he grant me his gifts, especially the gift of true wisdom, to know your most holy will, so as to follow it promptly and perfectly. The gift of courage to overcome whatever obstacle I may encounter in your holy divine service. Amen. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. This is the vigil of the solemnity of the Holy Spirit. Oh, may He descend upon all of you, upon me. May He enrich our souls with all His gifts and inflame them with divine love. Yes, my dear, I ask the Holy Spirit to burn in us everything that is bad and defective and to fill our hearts with the divine love. We belong completely to God, and we exist for nothing else but to love Him. He deserves all our love. Therefore, we must love Him solely. He has loved us with an infinite love to the point of dying on the cross drained of blood for us. And are we not going to love Him as we can, according to our weakness? And shall we not desire to love Him evermore? And shall we not ask with our whole heart that the Holy Divine Spirit may inflame us with love and make our heart expand in order to love more and more, to love our loving Jesus in a manner worthy of Him? Let us love the one who loves us very much. Let us love the only object worthy of our love. Worthy rather of an infinite love if we would be capable of it. But let us not stop with sterile desires. Let our actions be conformed to these longings. Let us remember and put into practice the teaching given to us by Jesus. He who wants to follow me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Have you ever been in love? Is there forever in love? Indeed, 
Being in love is one of the most wonderful experiences one could ever have. Each day is something to look forward to. Every moment seemed to be forever. Everything looks bright and beautiful. Everything seems right. However, is it easy to stay in love amidst hardships and sufferings? Is it worthwhile to hold on to love even if everything around is failing and crumbling? Blessed Maria Domenica's life is a resounding yes to these questions. While beloved this earth offers us are but fleeting moments of joy, Blessed Domenica shows us that loving God brings immense joy and fulfillment that lasts forever, even if the current situation tells otherwise. From the past days of the Novena, we have heard the different sharing and testimonies how Blessed Maria Domenica exhibited her love for God even at the lowest points of her life as a wife, as a mother, as a widow, and as a religious. It is this love for God that made her utter the following words. God of my heart, sweetest spouse of my soul, my only love, my eternal portion. She expressed these words not only once, but in several occasions in her life, repeatedly renewing her love to God regardless of everything. Here, Blessed Maria Domenica shows us that we really have the capacity to love God because He has loved us first. We have been infused with God's love, and it is exactly this love which enables us to love Him back in return. Blessed Maria Domenica teaches us that to love God is to love Him with who we really are and what we really have. That is to love Him without pretensions and reservations. First, who are we? We are the sons and daughters of God, made in His very image and likeness. Second, what do we have? While we know that everything comes from God, there is one thing that we have and can call our own, and that is our free will. These two realizations of who we are and what we have will help us, like Blessed Maria Domenica, to love God and translate that love for Him to the love for our brothers and sisters, especially the last, the lost, and the least. For Blessed Maria Domenica, love for God is something which cannot be contained only in feelings and words. It is something to be seen and touched through actions. Love for God is something to be shared so that others may also be drawn to love Him. In each sick and dying, in each hungry and suffering person, Blessed Maria Domenica was able to see God's face. She knows well in her heart that like her, they were also made in the likeness of God, and so it made it easier for her to serve and love them. In her free will, she willingly endured the scorching sun, braved the storms, and illuminated dark alleys just to reach out to those in the peripheries of society. It is her love for God that kept her going in spite of many trials and challenges. Dear brothers and sisters, our God is a loving God. He is actually love himself. He created us with a heart so that as His creation, we may love Him in return. Let us not be afraid to love Him who has loved us first. God knows that we are not capable of loving Him the way He loves us. He will not demand of something we are not capable of giving Him. But when He demands, He will make it sure to give us the grace to meet it. Indeed. Falling in love with God is the most wonderful experience we can have, for we are assured that in Him there is forever in love. May Blessed Maria Domenica's example in loving God inspire us to do the same in words and deeds.
Blessed Maria Domenica Brunbarbantini, pray for us. O Holy Trinity, you who deign to exalt the souls that have glorified you here on earth, grant me, I beseech you, through the intercession of Blessed Maria Domenica, the favor that I ask. If it be for your greater honor and glory, May the richness of her deeds replenish mine, so that I may become worthy of your infinite mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Blessed Maria Domenica, pray for us. We will beg the blessing of God through the intercession of Blessed Maria Domenica Brun Barbantini. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed feast day of Blessed Marie, Maria Domenica Brun Barbantini, and may Blessed Maria Domenica Brun Barbantini intercede for us all.